Alrighty, I put my face on with the new makeups that Tara got me. I don't know if you can even, even see. Can you see it made this lighting's better? <laughs> okay, but Tara also got me this. Okay, what this float now is, it, it's like a, one of those chambers, those mineral salt pools that are like in all the black, in all the black, and it's like all black, blacked out, I don't know. You know. I'm gonna have a coffee. And then I'm gonna have steak and eggs. And then I'm undecided if I want to bake for my birthday and then bring it to Adrenaline. I think I'm going to, I think that's a good idea. And then I'll go to Adrenaline, I'll have a back workout. And then I'm gonna go to Sephora, pick up my birthday gift there, and then maybe the Huda Beauty palette. It's $88, but I'm probably gonna splurge. Ice cream later. Yeah, so exciting. Okay, so this morning we're weighing in at 187.9, which is exactly 10 pounds more than my uh, original goal was. So lit there. Love that for me. Um, but we are feeling a little leaner, a little leaner looking. A lot of like bloating and inflammation here. But overall like like this has come down. So like I know like my body composition has changed, but yeah, like this is really swollen still, so that's what we looking like. I'm wearing the Hattie Boydell um muscle nation bra. I wish I would have got this in a medium. The one time I actually get a large in a fucking sports bra and it's a little bit too big, but it's super cute because it's just the one shoulder. So yeah, so pretty. So it's super soft. It's made with um, recycled, uh, recycled bottles. <laughs> um, that's how they make the, the fabric. I don't know. They break it down to flakes and they spin it and it makes this and it's super buttery, super soft. I absolutely love it. I have another one that's in a medium, so in roughly 10 pounds-ish, that one should fit, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one because this one definitely won't fit um, as I lose more weight, so that's okay. That's all right. So this morning, we are going to have breakfast. I'm just gonna have veggies and steak. Um, I'm gonna have to fight off the um, oatmeal demon, the cream of wheat demon, um, because I am getting ice cream and like cake and stuff today. I really wanna keep all my carbs really low and then um, enjoy them at other specific times. So that's my pro thought process. And yeah, that's what's going on today. On foods we're gonna buy some fat free locale I don't know I haven't bought jello in a while but lemon flavored jello to make with my trifle probably some blueberries and we're gonna whip that up and then we're gonna take it to adrenaline because apparently we got flowers delivered I'm thinking it's my dad I'm hoping it makes sense that it would be my dad that would like get flowers delivered because he always gets like flowers for my mom's birthday or my birthday. So that makes sense to me. And like I don't think he knows like my address here. Um, but if it's not my dad, I would be super embarrassed. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay, so we got the groceries. Everything's good. 
The only problem is, is that I got dark chocolate wafers, which I'm so fucking excited about. But they're for the trifle, which is for everybody, right? Like I'm making this as like a birthday celebration because I love cooking for other people and baking for other people. But the problem is, is that it's a trigger for me. So, that being said, it's in a store and I was like, oh, I could try some of these when I get into the car. Why would I need to try chocolate? Like it tastes all the same. Well, not, not really, but you know what I mean? Like it was just like my brain trying to trick myself into eating it just immediately with thinking in the car. And then once I talked myself out of that, my brain was like, okay, you can you know, hold off before like you get home. But once you get home, then you can try it. And then I literally just like have like this vision of eating it while I'm standing in the kitchen and then there's like a mess around me and I feel very like, I'm very triggered in this like daydream. And I'm just like comforted with eating it. Which is fucked because like I don't, I don't want, I don't want to do that. And now I'm gonna have to fight off these thoughts and I just want it to be like a nice day where like I'm not so addicted to food that I just can't do something that I love to do, which is baking. Like, I love baking, but everybody's like, no, well, why don't you do that for like a career? I'm like, because it's toxic. It's completely fucking toxic to me. I would love to. I would be so fucking good at it. But it would destroy my body. It would destroy my mental health. And so I can't do it. So, we'll see what happens when I get home and how hard it is going to be to fight this off. But we're going to do it. Because it's my birthday, and you know, I, like I said, I want to live today as if it was the most magical day of like my authentic, true self. I want to live my life without food addiction. So, if we're going in to this new, new era, this new decade of my life, then we're gonna have to act like we're there already, right? We have to think ourselves forward. So, yeah. So. Do we think this is a good indicator that uh, that I was not able to control myself around the chocolate granola cake? It's like rock hard. Like. Off to the gym to pretend I'm a nutrition coach when I actually have fucking food addiction and eating disorder and I can't control myself around food and I'll never change. Wow, great, love myself. Peace and blessings. I actually cannot get over these bars. Like, holy tits. Because I'd already had oh, like my cream of wheat. And then after the cream of wheat, I mixed the rest of the raw egg yolks with flour and sugar and cocoa and topped it with granola and peanut butter and I ate that. Then I had that, like you guys saw. And now Dylan's taking me out for a birthday cake. Yeah, I fucking hate myself. I fucking hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. I just don't know what the solution is. Everything is going so good, and then, like, my, none of my pants are starting to fit. Like, do I just not eat for the whole weekend? Like, if I don't, like, if I really don't eat tomorrow, I'm at the spa with Tara, just, like, drink some and eat like in front of her 
And then if I don't eat Saturday, and I don't eat Sunday, what's going on here? And get back to it, like, can't, like, I can't not eat. That's the thing, I don't know. Oh, this is 20. Also, this is how all my underwear fits. Just like pinching into the sides. And my little tub hangs over. But like even if I like lower these, they still, like, I still spill over. And it's all so uncomfortable. And you can see it through my leggings, which fucking pisses me off. Hi, hello, it's me. And today, Tara and I are going to the Moose Jaw Spa, and I'm feeling flat. And if you hear the birds, but that's my phone. <laughs> I put a um, like forest noise playlist on. And I've set my room up like this. I am going to try and do a little bit of meditation or I'm just going to lay on the ground and try to feel grounded. I started off today really good and we ate and the food addiction trigger just set in and I overate. Try and find comfort or peace and it's really it's just really not working for me anymore. I just keep searching and searching for that dopamine hit. So we're gonna do this. Alright, see how I feel after. <laughs> 